What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Duncan Dimanche and today I'm going to show you the cheapest and best way to get around Paris. So what we have here is something called Vélib, which is a rental bike system provided by the town of Paris. And it is by far the best way and cheapest way to get around Paris. It's going to cost you 1 euro 70 per day to rent a bicycle. 1 euro 70. If you want to have it for a week, it's going to cost you 8 euros. To give you an idea, I went to New York, tried the same thing. It was 12 dollars or more per day. So I'm going to take you on a tour to show you guys what you're missing if you're going to take the metro or the buses rather than the bicycle. I went from Place de Clichy to the cathedral called Notre Dame, which is an amazing place. It's on an island and uh, it's beautiful and the trip there is super nice. I've always wanted to make this video and I finally decided to do it. And um, the reason why is not enough people, foreigners who come into Paris, use the bikes. And it's such a shame because let's say you're going from point A to point B, taking the metro and you're gonna miss, sure, you, you might go faster, and that's not even true, but you're gonna be missing everything that's in between point A and B. And whereas if you're taking the bikes, you're gonna be exploring the city while you're driving, and it's actually faster most of the time than the subways or the car. So I'm gonna take you guys on a trip right away. You can see all the details at the end, but I wanted to show you guys, so I filmed myself going from Place de Clichy to Notre Dame, while driving a bicycle with one hand. Pretty sketchy. Okay, I'm not gonna say that I crashed, but I almost had something happen. There's a few things that happened to me. Nuts. Nuts. And uh, you'll see in the video, and I'm gonna talk about it more at the end, and uh, how to be safe while driving a bicycle. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, and hit the like button about 12 times just to make sure and uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about biking in Paris or bicycling in Paris. So most of the clips here are fast forwarded four to eight times because I did not want this video to drag on for too long. But uh, just so you know, I'm not going that fast on a bicycle.
about halfway there. Uh, so far, so good. Oh, not too out of breath. I've been driving pretty safely. Yeah, almost there. Got eight more minutes till I get to San Michel. Not too much down. How beautiful that is. That's so worth it, guys. Oh, it's a shit. One thing you need to do is get some sunglasses. It's got some shit in my eye right now. Oh, fuck. Sunglasses is not required. It's mandatory. Oh, I'm getting emotional here. Crap. Woo! Here look Here. Yeah, it's it's very important guys to wear sunglasses. There's just so much particles in the air and when you're driving you don't want to have anything well you just noticed I you need both your eyes. I hope that you enjoyed this little trip. Now let's talk about money. So how much does it really cost? It costs a euro 70 for 24 hours from the time you buy the ticket. And the first 30 minutes is free. Meaning if you use the bike for 29 minutes and park it again, then you don't pay any extra money. So if you ride this bicycle for 31 minutes, then you will have to pay an extra euro. And then if you go past another 30 minutes, then it's two euro and then three and four and so on. So the best thing to do is just to park it uh, before 29 minutes, before 30 minutes, and you'll be good. Getting the bike pass is pretty simple. It just takes a while and uh, you need a credit card with a chip, a microchip. Otherwise you won't be able to get one. If you don't have one, then you can order it online. I'll put a link below so you can go and look it up. So is it the cheapest way to get around Paris? Yes, 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 and yes. If you take the Metro, it's gonna cost you 13 euro per day. Whereas the bike, like I said, it's a euro 70. So that's awesome. It's the cheapest way and I think the fastest way. Is it the safest way? I don't know, it's pretty sketchy on the road, but you have bike lanes and all the buses lanes are also for bicycle. And most of the time you have your own bike lane without cars around. 
So I would say it's pretty safe, just be careful. One thing to know is the second you step on that bike, you have to abide by the laws of the road, meaning you can get tickets if you burn a red light, if you burn a stop sign, and so on. So you have to be careful with that because I've seen people, you know, getting tickets for doing so. One thing to know is when you're driving and there's an intersection coming from your right, if they do not have a stop sign or a yield, you know, dotted line sign, then you have to yield. You have to let the car pass. And uh, that's very important. Uh, it's not like that in the US. People in the US, I guess it's pretty simple. If they have a stop sign, they stop. If they don't have a stop sign, then they can go. But uh, yeah, that's one thing to be careful. Another thing, I think the most dangerous one, as you saw in this video, is people opening their doors. It's pretty sketchy. You never know what's gonna happen. So just be careful and uh, yeah, just be aware. And wear sunglasses or glasses because there are tons of particles in the air, just a bunch of shit floating around and uh, actual shit. And um, as you saw in this video, I got some in my eye while I was driving, not fun at all. And uh, you need both your eyes when you're driving in Paris. So if you're gonna be here for a week and you're not too athletic or not willing to take the bike everywhere, then I would suggest getting 10 tickets, 10 metro tickets, which is gonna cost you 14 euros for 10 trips and uh, you can just swap around you know once one time you take the bike one time you take the metro and uh, it's just an amazing way to get around it's so easy to get around Paris but you just have to do it the right way one thing you have to understand is you do not want to be in the metro in Paris on a hot summer day you'd rather be riding a bicycle outdoor in the Sun trust me it gets really stuffy it's nasty in there and uh, it's just not pleasing so get your pass, get your bicycle, and enjoy Paris. I put a PDF with everything that you need to know about you know, riding bicycles in Paris, riding those villages in Paris, so you can download it uh, in the description below. There's an app that I'm gonna put a link below that you have, have, have to download. It's an app that tells you how many bikes are around you and also tells you how many parking space there are, so you can check you know the place where you want to go to if there is parking space available for your bicycle because that's one big problem that's one downside is finding sometimes spots for to put your bike because there's just too many bikes in the racks so you have to wait for someone to come and pick up a bike for you to put yours it can be annoying so use that app to you know find out where there is bikes in that area or not there are two places that you should avoid is Place de la Concorde, it's a huge roundabout and there's just tons of cars and it's pretty sketchy and every time I go there it's, yeah, it's pretty scary because it's also paved, um, the road is paved so you're going to be shaking all over the place and it's pretty mental. The other area that you should avoid is Arc de Triomphe, it's a huge roundabout with 12 streets coming in, it's just mental, don't go there, I went there the other day. I shot myself twice and uh, almost died twice too, so do not go there. Alright, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I convinced you on trying out those bikes and renting those bikes and enjoying Paris. And uh, hit the subscribe button guys. I want to be posting a lot more videos. I want to make one about is Paris safe because that's every time some friends come over they ask me that question so I'm gonna be making that I'm gonna have some little interviews of people that have been living here and uh, yeah hit the like button about 12 times that should do it and uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think and I'll see you next time perfect example of be careful people open the door 
Uh, yeah, it's got a little heart attack here. It almost knocked my knee on my hands at that door. Uh, people do open the doors without checking on the car, so I'll always try to keep stay away from those doors uh, if you can, if there's not too much traffic. Thank you.